Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I have four V Strikers tins. Now this one I already opened up just because I wanted to, I bought one, made sure that they had what I thought they had because there's been multiple print runs of these with varying pack selection. Um, but the normal Walmart one was either these, which is two brilliant stars and three evolving skies, which is what I was hoping for or um, one with five brilliant stars packs, which is, you know, they're fine to open, but not exactly what I'm looking for personally. Um, but there it is, two brilliant stars, three evolving skies in each of these tins. Definitely hoping for uh, something good from evolving skies. I did just hit an alternate art from a brilliant stars pack, which was really nice, but it was not the Charizard that I'm still hunting for, so would love to see that today, but of course, just hoping for good pulls overall. Lapras and a Kingler VMAX to start, not bad. And I am going to keep all of my bulk organized and make a little area for pulls. I've got some sleeves off to my side if I get anything uh, especially nice. Two for two on the good code cards from the brilliant stars in this tin. Let's hope it's not a hollow rare. I do get a lot of those from brilliant stars. Staravia, and there it is, a Moltres hollow. All right, on to the first round of three Evolving Skies packs. Got a Sylveon cover artwork up first, and that is a familiar sight white code card from Evolving Skies. Fletchender and Tropius there. Would love to get like one good code card per tin. That would be nice. Obviously I'd like more than that, but um, you know, with Evolving Skies you can't ask for too much. So there is two in a row with white code cards there. We've got Victini and Thievel. And last pack of the first 10, just that Kingler VMAX on this one so far. And we have a chance here. Black Border Code card from Evolving Skies. Let's hope it is not a hollow rare. Cryogonal and a normal V, Lycanroc V. All right, we'll take that. Get into the second of these V Strikers tins. We'll do an Empoleon one this time. There's the code card. And back to some brilliant Charizard pack here. Still hunting that Charizard alt though. I just pulled a duplicate of the Arceus alternate art uh, today. It'll be in a, you know, a different day's video if you're watching my stuff, but I did pull that today. Cafe Master, and there's a Charizard V. We'll definitely take that. Not the one I'm looking for, but I'll take it. Still wouldn't mind hitting the Charizard V full art as well. Um, I've never pulled that. And we do have a white border code card this time, but there's still Trainer Gallery and Brilliant Stars, so there is potential to still get something here. Marnie's Pride and Haxorus. All right, back to some Evolving Skies. Hoping to upgrade from that normal V pull that we got in the last one, but um, just hoping for anything, of course. That's the name of the game with Evolving Skies. Starting off with a white code card, we've got Litleo and Gigalith. Umbreon pack, bring me the Moonbreon. Kind of a goal of mine to uh, pull that myself, you know, but um, such tough pull rates in this set. I've had good luck sometimes pulling, uh, you know, the secret rare alternate arts, but it's never been that one, unfortunately. And last pack of the second tin, just the Charizard V to show for it, and it looks like it's going to stay that way. White code card on all three Evolving Skies packs, Drowsy and Tropius. 
two more tins though. Nothing too crazy so far. A couple of V's and a V Max. These are from Walmart. I know that these do occasionally pop up at other stores, um, but as far as I know, the Walmart one is the really the only safe bet, I guess, right now to get this pack selection. Back to another round of Brilliant Stars packs with a white code there. Hope for a trainer gallery pull. The Evolution trainer gallery cards are nice to hit. Purloin and Staraptor. Got a Zard pack again. Two for two white codes on the Brilliant. Exeggutor and Wormadam. All right, let's hope we don't get shut out of this tin. Evolving Skies, time to show up. Dialga and Talonflame. Ooh, there we go. Second chance to pull something from Evolving here. Second good code card I have gotten from Evolving Skies. Pyroar, and that's a VMAX. It is Leafy on VMAX. We'll take that. That's an upgrade from the V we got in the first 10. Nothing too crazy still, but I'll take it. I'll take it. And the last pack of tin number three is another good code card from Skies. Can we upgrade from that VMAX now? Braviary? No, it is a hollow Raichu. All right, last tin here. Another Tyranitar. get some last tin magic. Coat card. Another white border on the Brilliant Stars. No trainer gallery hits from Brilliant yet today. Luxio and Alchemy. And last pack of Brilliant Stars of the Rip. Can we get something out of this last Brilliant Stars pack? Do have a chance here. Alternate Charizard. Or Full Art Charizard. Either or. Tropius, and we do have a Silver Border. We have a Full Art Edge. Can I get two Alternate Arts from Brilliant Stars in one day? No, I got the Full Art Whimsicott. That's okay. A pull is a pull. We will take that. And final three packs of Evolving Skies here. Getting this white code card out of the way. Hope there's another good one in the remaining two packs. Nuzleaf and Emperos. Second to last pack. Got another chance here. Show me something good. Hippopotas. Oof. And another hollow. Jump Luff this time. And last pack magic. Duraludon cover artwork. And unfortunately, it is not going to be last pack magic there. White border code card to finish it off. It is a ribbon badge and a flapple. All right. The pulls wise. Didn't really do great, but it could have been a lot worse. Kingler V Max, there's going to be promos in the mix. Lycanroc V, Charizard V, Leafeon V Max, and a Whimsicott V. So, really, only like a pull per 10, um, which you hope for more than that, but a couple of decent things in the mix. 
Um, if I find more of these, I probably will keep trying because, you know, time is limited, you know, where you'll find this Evolving Skies stuff for retail price. Um, you know, people reselling the packs for over $10 online, which is, you know, obviously what I should do, but it's more fun to rep them. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing.